Hello everybody, um, welcome back or welcome if you're new and chances are you are new since I just started creating content. So anyway, today I am going to show you what I got my nieces and nephews for Christmas. Um, I only had one kid, but I buy for my nieces and nephews. So they range in ages from not yet born to 26 years old, boys and girls all in between. So anyway, we will start with the youngest, which is my niece Scarlett, who is not here yet. We don't know if she'll be here before Christmas or not. So for Scarlett, I went ahead and saved some things back from her shower so that she would have some Christmas presents just in case. I did not go overboard with her since she did just have a baby shower. So anyway, I got this adorable little, it's a hat with a bow and it's just a little swaddle and um, it's so nice it's so so soft and it's beautiful it's got these roses on it and her name is scarlet rose so i just thought that was perfect for her i actually bought this um a while before we even knew about scarlet because i got such a really good deal on it at a local store but this is the i don't know if you can see it the brand but anyway so I, I held that back from her shower for her and then to go along with that because I got everyone two things so I'll explain that in a second but anyway I got this little book at Ollie's and at Ollie's this was only like three dollars um, on the back it says $9.99 so that was a super good deal and um, they have horses and her dad grew up showing dairy cattle and stuff, so I thought that was a cute little farm book for her. It's called God Bless the Farm. So I'll save that for Scarlet Rose. Now, how they're all getting to gifts. I started shopping pretty early, um, and I, I set a budget like I do every year. And anyway, this year I thought, I am not evening up the budget. I'm just going to get them all one thing that I know they'll like and be done. Until I went shopping on Black Friday. And then I saw something that was just perfect. So I'll, I'll explain that when I get there. So moving on, Scarlett's big sister, Brenna. Um, this is something I'm super excited about. This was the first thing I got for her. So um, whenever I was going to school for early childhood development, like 25 years ago, um, I had to observe in a daycare and they had one of these or something similar. It probably was a different brand. But it's a little uh, flower garden building kit. You like make your own flower garden. So it just looks like so much fun. And in this daycare that I observed, all the kids wanted it. And they could only have like three kids at a station at a time. And so everybody wanted to be in this station because it, it was just so much fun. So I thought, oh, she would love that. And I really, I looked for it when my daughter was little, which was not long after I had observed this in a daycare. And whenever she was little, I couldn't find them anywhere, like nothing even similar. And so I found this in a gift guide video over the summer and I had forgotten about it when my older niece was young and she would have loved it because she still loves flowers. But anyway, I forgot about it when she was little. Um, I'm hoping, Brenna's four, so I'm hoping that she still will like this, but I mean, I would love to play with it, so I think she will, but it's super cute. You can add, you just build these flowers, and you can put leaves, there's different kinds of flower tops, there's butterflies, they're, they're just, it's so much fun, it's super cute. So I think she'll like that, at least I hope, and then... These were the result of my youngest nephew's second present. So to even up, I decided since they both have like a, um, a toy in about that shape of box, I would get them the same second thing. So I found her, I called her dad to see. I probably should have called her stepmom to see, but um, her dad said she did not have any slippers or at least not any like this. So I got her these rainbow monster feet slippers and she's a girly girl but she's a she's she's just a unique personality we just love her and i think that she will think these monster feet slippers are so cool they have like 
silver toenails. I don't know. They're really sparkly. It doesn't really show up how sparkly they are on camera. But anyway, I think she'll like her rainbow monster feet slippers. So my youngest nephew, Landry, he likes dinosaurs and he loves to build. So I don't like to just get just more dinosaurs. He has dinosaurs. Um, he does have some building sets that other people are adding to. So I got him the Dino Tracks car set, and you can rebuild the tracks to have different shapes. I don't know if it has, I don't think it shows any on the box, but like you can make the tracks in circles and just do different things with them. It can go through that truck over the bridge. And there's two different cars in here. There's a train, it looks like, and like a little dinosaur head car. So maybe two different ones, actually. And I just think he'll have so much fun with that. He likes cars, too. So this is kind of everything or several of the things that he likes rolled into one. I thought this was cute. They do have something similar in just like the primary colors. But I think he'll really like the dinosaur themed one. So I was just going to get him that, get Brenna the flower building set, and call it good. Until I went Black Friday shopping with my mom, and we were in Sam's, and I saw these Squishmallow Pug slippers. Landry loves Squishmallows, probably, or Squishmallows, I don't know how you say that. But he, he loves them probably because his big sister loves them, but he loves pugs. They have a little part pug dog at home. And he just loves pug books and, and anything with a pug on it he thinks is adorable, like videos about pugs. So I think he is just going to love these. Now, he already has some Monster Feet slippers that are green with orange toenails. So he didn't really need slippers, but they are the size lower. Um, and these are actually a size bigger than what he wears now. And I figure his feet are not getting any smaller, but they didn't have a size smaller. But anyway, they're bigger than the slippers he has, so they'll last a little bit longer, hopefully. So, that brings me to my next niece, which is Rue. And so, I saw this. This is the result of a gift guide video over the summer. Um, Rue likes to do things. She likes to build things. She likes sciencey stuff, crafty stuff. She, she likes to do things. Well, her mom, and she helps her mom sometimes when she can, her mom does landscaping and has her own business and she has talked about opening like a greenhouse or nursery or something and her mom's name is Kathy so I found this it's a little model kit oh and also last year over Christmas break my niece and her mom were working on decorating a dollhouse like putting wallpaper and curtains and things inside it and so she really liked working on that with her mom. It was something they could do together. And then this little model kit is called Kathy's Flower House. Is that not the cutest? And so I think she is going to be so excited to build that with her mom. And it's like their own little greenhouse with tons of plants. And this is something they can do in the winter when it's too cold here to get outside and work with the plants. And so they can build this model together. So that was just too perfect with her mom's name and everything. So, for her second gift, since she is getting older, um, she's in that little, little in-between tween phase where they're not little girls anymore, um, kind of getting out of the toys, but yet they're not ready to be big girls yet. I was kind of on the fence about what to do for her second gift, but then whenever, if you watch my stocking stuffer video, you'll know that I got these on sale on Black Friday. It was a two pack for $7. So they ended up being like $3.50 a piece. So I'm just gonna give her slipper socks. So she got one pair. Um, my mom will get the other pair from this pack because she likes purple. And then my daughter and Bruce's mom will each have one from the pink pack. So anyway, so she'll be like the big girls, but she'll still have slippers like the little kids. So kind of a, a nice balance in between I think so moving on to my nephews so this is where we get into the older kids um, we'll start with Derek he's 12 and it's just so so hard to buy for 12 13 year old boys 
unless you can buy the expensive stuff. Well, Eric is a gamer and he just wears like athletic clothes. And uh, if you watched my first gift guide video, um, I got my daughter a pair of athletic shoes from Under Armour when I had my school employee discount. So, well, I still have it, but anyway, so I was able to get her that pair of shoes drastically reduced. So then I also bought, while I was shopping on the Under Armour website, I bought my nephew a black Under Armour hoodie and my husband one that he picked out as well, so he knows about it, but anyway, so I got that for Gary, and then for his fun thing, because that, so for the boys, I just had their hoodie, and so for their fun thing, once I started adding on to the little kids, I thought, well, I'll get the older boys, since they got a useful thing, I will get them something fun, so, I mean, they're getting to the age they care about their clothes, but I know they're still young enough to want fun stuff too. So since Garrick's a gamer and at his dad's house he has his own room and he loves having his own space there. So for the last couple of years I have made him something. Two years ago I made him a blanket that matches his room, like, like a plushy crochet blanket. And then last year for him and Bowen and Landry I made them all like a throw pillow and a pillowcase that I sewed that matches the theme of their room. So anyway, he likes getting stuff for his room and I found this LED, which he does have LED lights in there, but I found him an LED game controller light. If he already has one, now he has another one or he can get rid of it, whatever. But anyway, I think he'll like that, especially if he doesn't already have it. And then for Bowen, I've actually had this in my gift stash for a while. He's just now getting big enough to wear it. It's still like, a bigger size than what he normally buys but you know oversized hoodies are great because they can go on over things as jackets and and stuff like that so I and this thing is so soft this was a Black Friday deal a few years ago I believe I think it was a Black Friday deal anyway I got it like half off when I got it a few years ago and it is so 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 soft I almost kept this for me but I don't need another hoodie so so Bowen is getting that for Christmas and then Bowen's other gift is this game. And so I did ask Bowen, I said, because he's 13, and I said, do he's really into sports. I said, do you want something else more practical, like basketball socks or something like that? And he's like, no, I want a fun thing. So, but he didn't give me any ideas. Go figure. So, um, he does read some, but I am completely clueless as to what what he has already read, what he wants to read. So since he didn't give me any ideas, I got him this gift. It's called Who's Most Likely To? Because I just kind of searched for games for his age range on Amazon. And you really had to be careful because some of them are, a lot of them that came up were adult party games. And even though his parents are pretty lenient with what he watches he's a really good kid there, there were still like games that some of them would make me uncomfortable to play with him as a family and also I think some of his friends parents probably wouldn't appreciate them playing them yet so anyway this one is called who's most likely to and this works best it's not a good get to know you game this works best with people that know each other really well and he has a pretty good sized friend group and um, they're together all the time and so I think this will be a great game for them when they get together at the cabin or just at one of them's house or whatever. Because it's definitely, it's going to keep them laughing. It has questions on here like, um, who is most likely to? And then, I, I don't really know how you play it exactly, but it has these cards that's like, who's most likely to is insinuated. And then, um, like, this card says, wake up with half a burrito in bed. Um, Same people for going to bed. Um, have 20 minute conversation with Siri. Like, it's just silly stuff. So, I think that him and his friends would have a lot of fun with this. Or he and his friends. I don't know how that's grammatically correct. But anyway, so my oldest nephew is 26. Um, he and my daughter kind of grew up together. She's 23. Um, is he 26? Maybe he's 25. Maybe he's 25, not 26. I'm not sure. Anyway, I lose track. I think he's 25. 
so he is a big reader. In fact, he is also a writer. Um, he went to school for like journalism or something. Anyway, so he gave me, I just asked him to give me a list of books that he wanted and he came through and he gave me a lot. So I got him these three. He's kind of into like, I don't know if it's like Japanese fiction, but I'm not sure like, I think it's like historical fiction maybe? I'm not sure. Like early, early 20th century maybe. Anyway, he wanted to spring snow. I gave him one for his birthday too. His birthday was like right after Thanksgiving. And then, then he asked for these two. Um, I don't really know anything about these books, but anyway, The Clockwork Orange and this one. But like I said, I did not have to look these up. He just told me what he wanted and I ordered them on Amazon. No idea what they're about. Um, and then, so he's not getting those two gifts. He's getting those three books. And then this is kind of silly. Um, he lives in Chicago now. He's always been a city kid. We live more in a rural community, but um, that's just not him. So anyway, I like public transportation is just not my thing. I don't really, we don't, I mean, we go to the city once in a while, but um, anyway, I just, I don't use the public transportation unless it's like Uber or something like that. But anyway, I found this in an antique store, and I just thought it was kind of cool to compare the then and now. But um, it's like a street guide and transportation directory of Chicago, and it's a complete, has a complete new map. Anyway, um, I want to say the year was like in the 50s. I can't find it now. I looked it up when I bought it, but... Anyway, I just thought it was just kind of a neat little thing, and he'll probably think it's ridiculous and throw it away, but that's that's fine. I did not pay a whole lot for this. I just like I just think old stuff like that is cool. I love old books. I love old like directions, like old cookbooks, how they have different directions and stuff than they do now. I just think it's neat to see how things have changed. So I got him that as just kind of a silly little surprise to throw in with it. But anyway, that is my nieces and nephews gift for this year. I cannot wait to get started wrapping, and um, anyway, let me know if you get any good ideas from this, or if you have any good ideas for these ages of kids. Um, anyway, I'll put in the description um, what their ages are, so anyway, um, like and subscribe if you like my content. I plan to do a couple more Christmas videos. I'd like to do another gift guide that's not actually stuff that I bought this year before Christmas, especially for stocking stuffers since people do those last minute. And then I would like to do maybe like a Christmas baking video or something. I'm not really sure. And then maybe, I don't know if I said it, a wrapping video. But anyway, if you love watching this kind of content like I do, just hit like or subscribe and I can't wait to see you back. Bye!